This is the Puerto Rican Punisher Bay. Telling you to check out Chop's videos on YouTube. He's got the best collection of classics in New England wrestling and professional wrestling in general. So go ahead, subscribe, give him a follow, give him a like, and hit the bell notification so that you get the latest videos when they drop. Y no te olvide que guste o no te guste, Chop videos, esa es la que hay. Last one for now, John Cronus. Ah, uh, yeah, Cronus. So, me and him doing the Cronus Brothers, the angle was, um, uh, that was one of the, that was one of the better fucking times of my career. Um, having him for a tag partner, um, running around with him. We only lived, uh, when I moved to Philly, and me and him were only like, I had Gary Wolf two blocks one way, Anthony Durante six blocks this way, and nine blocks up was fucking, and, and one block over was Cronus. So, I was always with one of the three. Always. Mostly it was Cronus. Mostly it was Cronus. I, I was the one that when, when when he would get stuck somewhere because his car broke his he had this old fucked up Crown Victoria and he used to break down all the time and fucking hey Dave, what are you doing? Nothing now, what are you doing? Well, I you know, I was gonna go get some scallops, but uh, my car's broke down. So you want me to come pick you up to go get scallops? He goes, No, I want you to come over here and help me fix my car. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'll be right over. Wait, wait, what? You got to come and get me first. I'm with the car. We're at some fucking VFW out in BFE somewhere. 
What the fuck, man? True story. I had to do that. I had to drive him from South Philly out to the fucking shore, Jersey Shore somewhere to fucking pick up his car. We had to go fucking run. Oh, we towed it back with my fucking, I had a Ford Ranger. I, we towed it back with that. That's right. Fuck. I love John. John was, John, John was a good guy. John, uh, I, I miss him. I miss him a lot. We really, we, we had a lot of fun together. Um, he was the guy that, it's no secret. I go out, I get drunk, I get belligerent. When I'm with John, I get drunk and belligerent, but not until after he's already there. And then it starts me up. But I know no matter what kind of shit we start talking to everybody around us, when it comes time, we're going back to back. That, that was a brother that had my back every step of the way. Um, I miss him to death. I really do. Um, yeah. Where did you guys do the brothers gimmick? I never got to see that. Uh, it started. Oh, shit. It started. Um, so I ran a show in Pittsburgh under the Mayhem banner. Um, I say it like that because it was an unofficial, official Mayhem show. Um, I had full control. I booked it. I booked uh, the talent. I booked the fucking what was going to happen. Um, it was one of the best shows that everybody that was on it will agree one of the best shows they've ever been on, ever. Um, I treated the boys like gold, and the work that they put out was like gold. I had Padula, Jose, um, Christ Almighty, there was a carload that came there. Uh, Randy, Black Wolf, Kyle Storm, Matt Storm, um, Padula, um, Joe Monterazzo, Pat Piper, Pat Piper. Um, we had the pit bulls on the show versus me and uh, me and uh, versus the Cronus Brothers, and it was not announced as the Cronus Brothers. It was announced as Dave Donovan and a mystery partner. Okay, so. Um, It's the, the show starts with um, Pat Piper and Joe Monterazzo in the ring for a Piper's pit. Um, the pit bulls come out when Pat Piper tells them to, and they start beating shit out of Joe Monterazzo. Um, they put him up in a corner, and um, they're getting ready to do their super bomb. That's when I hit the ring, and unbeknownst to me, hot on my heels is... John Cronus. So we hit the ring, we clear it, we back up back to back, and then we face off and then go separate ways back to the locker room. Um, main event that night is Pit Bulls versus the Cronus Brothers. Um, at the end of the match, um, the, the finish was pit bulls were getting ready to super bomb me and Gary Wolf puts me up on uh, Anthony's shoulders. Anthony gives me the extra boost and then hikes me up. And as he's starting to hike me up, I hit a hard run out of nowhere and get the pin on him. One, two, three. Gary turns around, finds out, blah, blah, blah. John hits the ring. We clear it. We got the victory. That's when Joe Matarazzo grabs the mic and, and, and thanks us and um, says, look, I know you two have had your differences, but it's time to bury the hatchet. We need the Cronus Brothers. We need you now. And that was the start of it. That was the start of us tagging. 
Um, I miss that motherfucker. I miss him bad. Here you go, Carlos. See all these half turn into shoots of uh, your career and half turn into primal. <laughs> you did it. Oh, I know. I love it. It, it, it. It's me. I I love hearing the shit. It's just at the end. I'm like, hey, I got like ten minutes of primal footage, and and then I'm like, hey, let's just talk about your career next time. Back together. All right. Yeah. The next show yeah, yeah. is uh, primal conflict. Is body count. And then I think he did a run in on the uh, intern and Cronus versus Kyle match for the title, for the hardcore title. That was at Wonderland? Yeah, that was the same show that the, I have that the independents ran in. I assume you were with them. No, I don't think I ran for that. Well, uh, for what title? The hardcore title. The pit bulls are out there. Uh, Kyle was. I might have because Cron I think. I might have because I think after that's when I was going after uh, when me and Cronus wrestled at, at uh, Stars. Was wasn't that far after that? Yeah, that's the next show I have November to December in uh, November. It's you against Cronus for the hardcore title. Yeah, that's why I think that was the setup for that. that was a, Cronus was a Cronus was an interesting character, and that's what that's around the time where I started where I started doing the boat because. Um, I started getting friendly with him and, and New Jack and a lot of these W guys as they were closing out um, via the, you know, the stuff that went on through ECW up in the area, you know. So it was, it was interesting. Cronus was, all, Cronus was all about just helping out and having fun. That's all he really cared about, you know. So it was, it's, Cronus, is, Cronus is a hard one to talk about sometimes because it's like he's missed. He was, he was a cool cat. He, he was a crazy cat, but he was a cool cat. Do you have any stories or memories of Cronus that you can tell us? <laughs> Cronus was one where it wasn't necessarily stories that Cronus would laugh at the most ridiculous things, like things that didn't even need to laugh at. He would just laugh. And the funny thing was Cronus, when Cronus laughed, and for me, I, I always thought of like a joker in the background. You know, he would just be like, he, he, it was just weird. He would, you could hear him giggling in the back for no apparent reason. Like, like he could be, he could be peeling a banana, and he'd find it humorous, you know. And that, and that was, and that was his thing. Um, I'm gonna look up because there's a, a I don't remember the story, um, but it was a story that Perry Saturn has about him. I have to look it up though, because um, I remember them. I remember him talking about it one time, and I, it just recently came up online. Um, a story he had about a guy that uh, where Cronus put his finger in the barrel of a gun <laughs> to stop to stop the gun from shooting. Um, but I don't know the full story, so I'm like, I won't say. Let me look. I have to look it up again just to find out because I remember them telling me the story. Um, Cronus was a cool guy, man. Like I said, for me, memory for him it was just him wanting to just have fun. He just wanted to have fun and just laugh. That's all he ever did was just laugh. He was always straightforward. Always. Always willing to give it, you know, to help out and give it a pain. I mean, hell, I remember Cronus taking the boards off the ring, which was great. You know, he was just like, eh, I got on the door, I'll give you a hand. Let me take these boards off. You know, so it was stuff like that that was cool to see about him. Yeah, he did quite a bit with Primal. He was there quite a few times. Yeah, it was cool because, like I said, he, li he because he lived out there, um, he, he gravitated towards us when we – so when we first booked him, he was just like, that's eh, a booking. Um, but we treated him right. We treated him with respect. And he was just like, yo, this is, this is just fun. It was like, it was for him. It was just, he was just having fun. He loved it. You know, and he was like, whenever you, you know, you have another show, you need help. You call me, I'm there. You know, like he would, he would cancel a booking if he wanted to for us. It was that, like that, that crazy for us, you know. So it was, it was fun. It was, it was such a pleasure having him aboard with us. I uh, I have friends that we used to after the bar after parties. Well, my friend 
one of the girls that worked at his father's convenience store, a girl named Erin McKenzie. We all became friends, and she hung out at the same bar we all used to go to. Come to find out, I'm talking about wrestling, and she goes, my fiancé is a wrestler. I was like, your fiancé is a wrestler? I was like, who's your fiancé? And she's like, John Cronus. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, I go, I just was at the last ECW show. I go, I follow them. I go, I love that wrestling. I That was the other. I start, I was into the ECW scene. So next ECW show, I go with her, <laughs> my, my friends. She is VIP. She got to sit right behind where the ticket takers would be if you were at the dog track, that like VIP section. Yeah. So I was there, and after the show, obviously, you got to hang out. So I met Cronus that night. After that, I'd come to the shows, and I'd end up just backstage talking with Perry and John. And uh, so it's the IEBW Hall. Perry had blown out his knee two nights before. And that's right when he was about to sign with WCW. He was in a bad mood. I'm talking wrestling. He looked at me and said, you know what? Shut the fuck up and just go and be a fucking pro wrestler. If I see you again and I don't find out you went to that school, I'm going to fucking kill you. I was, <laughs> I just walked away and I go, I, the, that night I ended up seeing Aaron. I go, hey, will you take me up Kowalski's on Tuesday? Aaron took me up to Kowalski's on Tuesday, and from there uh, I went in there, seen some anything dudes wrestling, and I was like, all right. Or anything? And that, <laughs> I do have some memories of Cronus on, on that show. Um, I don't know to what extent they're clear, um, so, so I'm not going to touch base on them. <laughs> um. Because they're not, they're not anything towards me. It's just me observing something from afar as an innocent, you know, bystander. Um, nothing bad, nothing that's an issue. Um, I just, I rather, you know, not say something that I, I'm not a hundred percent sure on, but I do have some some recollection of him. Um, and my interaction with him was very brief, but was very kind. I'm not going to lie to you. He gave me the impression personally of a completely different person than what I thought, you know, John Cronus was. Um, you know, I always thought of him as that brute guy, that big, you know, burly type of uh, guy, man's man. And um, not that he's not, you know, or that he was not, but, um, you know, it, it was a very civil, cordial, you know, hi, how you doing? Hi, I'm John Cronus. You know, I'm Hugo. Nice to meet you, you know, and just light talk like that. Nothing major, like in passing, which to me spoke volumes because, um, you know, at that time he was John Cronus. You know, he, he should have been uh, the wildest in the room. So, you know, and, and being in the room with New Jack, you know, at times, you know, and, and, and with the rest of the people that were in there, you know, you really thought it was going to be over the top. But it, it, I don't recall him being over the top. That was the first time you met him? Yeah, yeah, that was the very first time I met him. Very, very first time I met him. Um, there was a couple of shows that um, he, he had done afterwards um, that I was in the same locker room with, with him in. Um, and he still lived up to that same, you know, demeanor in the locker room, um, very uh, down to earth. Um, or at least that's the impression he gave me. And after that Revere show, well, on that Revere show was uh, Cronus and the Pitbulls. Any memories or stories of them? Uh, <laughs> they were cool, cool dudes. You know, we we uh, we 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 spoke. You know, I I I really. It's hard to say. It's like Cronus. I I I I, I feared more towards him. You know what I mean. The Pitbulls, they did their thing. Wasn't a big fan of the Pitbulls, but you know, Cronus was cool. I I I, I veered more to him, hung out with him more. Uh, nice guy as far as you know, 
our relationship, us talking, us us getting to know each other. But uh, no, they were they were just cool, man. They they were real humble dudes. They didn't have their a broom stuck up their asses because they were ECW guys. Nice guys, really nice guys, man. Cronus basically became one of the locker room. Wouldn't you say he became one of the locker room after a little while? He was there a lot. Yes. Yes, Cronus, he he, Cronus, he, he did a lot of shows with us. Yeah, he did a lot. Of, I think I think maybe uh, the Pitbulls did maybe one, two shows with us. Cronus did a lot of shows with us. Just like Jack. Jack, Jack did a lot of shows with us. Um, uh, Sandman did a few with us. Tommy did a few with us. Balls did a few with us. Um, yeah, but I think Cronus and Jack, they, they did more shows with us than anybody. Yeah, I'd say them two and maybe Balls. Them, them three were like regulars. Yeah, yeah. Ted, kick ass, see what you got. We're back, and there's a master of reality check, Jose Perez. Representing the independent, Rich Boy Hernandez, coming through the room. Eric Rich Boy, kick ass, Kyle Storm, my pick, be the next heavyweight champion of PCW. Hey, kick he ass, is. Kyle Storm, to win this match all by himself. He doesn't need the immigrants. You, you got a problem with them, don't you? But you got to understand that the independents, they're united. They're independent, but they're united. You mess with one of them, you're going to have to mess with all of them. Yeah, they're, well, they're united just like a package of uh, potatoes, you know? So I feel like matching all of them right now, but I see. trying to steal my spotlight. I thought they were trying, trying to, they trying to, to take the tiny the terrible gimmick as being a midget. Looked to me like they were just trying to watch your back, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, here comes John Cronus. I think this is it. You have a warp sense of reality. So does the cameraman. Oh, well, everybody got a camera. This is a fan cam going on. Nah, that's this is a charisma cam. Yeah. That, 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 uh, you know what that camera is? That camera is really evident. Yeah, it's yeah. Get the fuck out of the way. Hey, you punk. You don't have to say that. <laughs> but he did. Yeah, he did. I mean, John Cronus, he came a long way. I mean, everyone knows him as... One, of, one half of the tag team champions at ECW, uh, you know, the uh, Eliminators. And I mean, not for nothing, he is a damn good wrestler. And I'm glad to see that Primal Contract has a wrestler like him in the ring because he is an extraordinary person. You just saw some mutual respect between kick ass Kyle Strong and Kono. I mean, pro- see, look at that. The crowd's even calling. Welcome back. Welcome back. John Cronus is a name out here. Man, if you don't destroy that promotion. Yeah. That, that was a good one. He had you, Gregory, Mr. Drago. That, I mean, we if didn't only have to, to destroy that promotion, Tiny. He'd I mean, still be there. Yeah. That, and here comes the champion. Yeah. yeah. And I know who's going to be with him. The old leech, Mr. Latch on. Mr. I'll run my mouth and I won't back it up because I can't fight. That's why I can't even beat backyard. That's why I won't wrestle Gregory Drago on a tight match or any match. That's why I got my ass kicked by Mark Thunder. That's why I got my ass kicked by one of the pit bulls. Here he comes, the CEO of Final Conflict, your friend, Steve Stallion. You know something, Greg, and yeah, or, tell me about it. Or, or tell me about Mr. It. Drago or Grago or Drog. Here's Gregory the point. Drago, you know what my name is. Listen, man, you over there running your mouth off to suddenly Steve about him. Why? I mean, come on. This, 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 Because the tiny was terrible. 
Well, I don't have nothing to say about that. Your special guest for is the Primal CEO. Leave your stuff alone, okay?
music and science and all that type of stuff and computer stuff. That's what he's going to be seen starting to do that. He cringes. He sees the sight of Krona's ticking and turning in the space. Oh, another and slow count. Look at that. And he's appropriately. Appropriately. Oh, what else? Tyler Krona has to fit. He was not fully at all the time in the world to interfere. You see how slow the Stallion was counting? So, Stubby Steve was doing his job with Tyler Stone. The, the gold brick that he is, you know, going over there, hogging up the spotlight, and, and, and trying to take food from uh, Stubby Steve's mouth right there. Oh, but, but do you think, do you think Steve Stallion's going to count? Oh, Look at that. Look at that. Stubby yeah. Steve was already been counting. Yeah, he was counting. Look, I, I could no. count it to ten in the time it comes to, for him to take yeah, by five, so that doesn't count anyway. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Krona I could have in. a ten count in the time it takes for him to count Krona's three. Krona's stopping the intro into a, a eight spot. Krona just hates everybody. He does. He, does. Yeah. he, he hasn't been right since the breakup of the eliminator. And I don't blame him. I wouldn't be right since the breakup of the eliminator. Well, you know, if you were Robin and Batman left you, how would you feel? I would feel eliminated. Well, there you go. I call that the popcorn. Did, did you see that? That was the popcorn. That was like something from your repertoire. It did, but I didn't want to mention it because Big Ass Kyle Storm is a powerful white man in this guy. Hey, he's the toughest man in South Providence. Hey. Oh, that's a nice stiff clothesline by Storm. Yeah, it was real stiff. Storm just kicked the gun. Kicked the blood back into the, uh, the insurance head. Nothing wrong with that. And Kyle Storm walks the streets of South Providence. Oh, you don't he think he is? He two matches. He was the main event in the last match. He also helped Tiny out. I mean, come on. With all that performance, he should have been blown up by now. He got punched in the face a few times. Look at that. Look at that. Come on, he's going nuts. Come on. Oh, he's losing it. And he sits down to take a break. He's all done, huh? He's tired. He gave up. Yeah, no wonder why you're at where you're at, you bum. <laughs> you're not interested in me. You're not interested in making friends, are you? Oh, I love Krona. He's an excellent wrestler. Look at him. You couldn't do that. Oh, well, I've done it too many times. In fact, that was a part of Tiny's repertoire there a little bit. So he kind of stole it from you. Yeah, I'm not going to say that word because he's... Yeah. Oh, yeah! He's yeah. 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 out! He's out! He's out! Oh, look at this. Oh, my God! All right, I just want to a little bit there. Yeah, it's all right, Tiny. <laughs> it's all right. Are you all right? Conveniently. Yeah, because Conveniently. Steve, he can't count right now. He doesn't need to. He could have count even when he wasn't down. What is that DS guy trying to do? Is he trying to rob? Is it's he like trying to rob Stubby Steve? Most of the Steve Stallion. Low blow by the intern. He's got kick ass in him. Great wrestling move intern. Yeah. He's a hell of a wrestler. Jonas throws him out. How this guy kept his belt so long, I'll never know. Man out. Yeah. 
he's a, a man of virtue. He's, a, he's an untouchable also. He's not an he's not untouchable. Hey, you need to stop kissing bowing down to the bathroom. He's worth it. Listen, maybe he's worth it to you. Yeah, right. He is. Well, there you go. Right now, he can't really stand up. But professionalism that is just a dude from Southern Seaside. I'll kick ass all that big slump that he is. Well, you know, if he comes in, turn out, he, he keeps his belt. It's him walking around with his belt. Look at Kronos, move to out. Look at it. That's it, kick ass should be done right now. Oh, but of course, should be done. Now he doesn't see it. One, he missed it. One, two. Oh, and the obvious irate from kick ass Kyle Storm yeah. beat up. He probably bit the top of Jonas' lip, so. What? Who's that? Who? That's, 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 that's Prime Mantis. That's Prime Mantis? And Puck is flying all around him, too. What the hell is he all out of And he's got a green chin. You're not What's in the jungle. He's, he's got a, a green chin. chin. And a green chin. Yeah. He's part of both of the interests, yeah, which I don't understand because they're both supposed to be allies. That no good bastard yeah. he's telling you. And that's not the only thing that's weird about him. What, 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 oh my god. There's this one chance to his face. Cronus is in the ring with kick ass. Cronus is on quick. Kick -ass. Kick -ass. He's out cold. Cronus is giving him, giving him a kick to his face. Cronus is out cold. Cronus is beating him. He's there. The two professionals is counting Kyle Storm up. Yeah, he's it's about as professional as your average wrestler, as your great wrestler in Rhode Island wrestling. That's how professional he is. Yeah, he's on that level. That's how low I think of him. You. you know what? I, I'm going to recommend that some of these stallions sue you for harassment. Because you are Why harassing is it okay him for you to sing his praises, but yet when I, I put my input into it, which is negative, it is a problem. Because you never made no money on stuff that you've done. You uh, never so yeah, got you paid from stuff that you've done. So of course I, I can sit here and criticize you the way I'm doing. Yeah, if, if you say so, Tiny. Anyway, it's kick ass Kyle Storm. My pick to take this strap away somehow, some way. The bloody pulp that he is. Yeah. He's laying on his back, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure he can handle whatever Kyle Storm ass. is going to do. Oh! That was a set, Tiny. He went airborne. And this, this should be it. But of course, of course. The kick time bomb, huh? Oh, well, there's Jose Perez. The, the, the independents have returned. One, two, three. That's WC1. Kyle Storm, you stupid idiot! Look at the independent. They're not gonna put up with so much longer. He wasn't being fair. The lights went out. Now what? Now what? What happened here? What the hell happened? Kevin Charisma is standing on the. Is it? What? Whoa! This has gotta be it. What? What was up with the light? Who? No, no, not even one. Hey. Of course not. Not even one. That's all right, because it's suddenly Steve Stallion was over there adjusting his hands. Right yeah. Now. Because the, the immigrants were over there grabbing him, distracting him, putting him out of his Yeah, all right, like right. all right. Your, your great virtuous hero, conveniently. Look how compassionate Sunday Steve is. He gives him a quarter while he's out there. Look at that, a wrap up one, two. Another three. slow count. He really doesn't want one. one of these guys. Two. Look Look at that. Kyle Storm has the strap. No way. Yes it's way. Interference. Yes. No interference. Get him. Get him. Yeah. He's being jumped. There you go. Oh. Three ass kicking. Hey, hey, he's your boy. Help him. Go ahead. Look. Cronus is up. Yes. Good Cronus. Good. That's oh, no, what he's you got to do to people like this. Don't mess with Jose Perez. That's Perrette. right. Do it to him. Jump him on his head. Oh, the other independents better get in there. Get him. They all scatter like the cockroaches that no, they are.
Well, he's got the strap. Yeah, he's got it. But it wouldn't have been easier if he'd have been thrown it. Wouldn't have been a lot more of a seven minute tap. Would have been a lot better if he had a referee no, who knew how to count and take count. He's been legal and sweet. He has just invaded primal again. You must have watched every match tonight. Like to do something about it. Boston, Boston, Bostonian. I'm ready to kick some ass, so bye bye. Cornus has always been ready. He's a real decent man. But he's going up against Perez. That could be a little bit of a challenge. We'll have to wait. Gregory Drago. That's right, and you know, a lot of people sit back as we watch this action. They say, oh, Gregory Drago, why'd you go with Team Primal? Why'd you do it? Why'd you sell out? Sell out. Sell out. Let me tell you something. Gregory Drago is all about winning. Team Primal is all about winning. As far as I'm concerned, perfect match. And uh, we're just happy to have you aboard, Greg Drago, as we watch Eliminator John Cronus and Jose Perez, tooth and nail, for the PCW Hardcore Championship. This is gonna be something else, as we knew it would be, here at November Dismember. And you, fresh off a victory against YMC Andy, which, uh, you know. But I sit back and say, big deal. YMC Andy's no athlete, YMC Andy's no fighter. YMC Andy's just lucky to even have a job as far as Gregory Drago is concerned. So you don't think too much of YMC Andy? Do you? Well, not at all. Big right hand there by Jose Perez. It's, there's an elbow to eliminate a Cronus. Cronus with his first shot at gold. Well, no, no, I can't say that. He had a shot at gold against Kyle Storm in the intern in the last show. He came up a little short, but now his second shot at gold, I guess. Oh, my goodness! He's going against Jose Perez, and, well, in a battle with Gregory Drago, he definitely failed, but he is a great wrestler, one of the greatest around, in my opinion. Well... Live wire. Yeah, what a goof. You know, we should make a plan to kick this guy's ass. Who, Livewire? Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Right now, Jose Perez with a keyboard. And this is hardcore rules, of course, for the PCW Hardcore Championship. Cronus. Oh, my goodness. Oh, knows little, he, he knows a little bit about computers. But, uh, you know how it is. This is an unbelievable contest here for the Primal Conflict Hardcore Championship. They're in the crowd. Oh, my goodness. No, Kronos is a big bad ass, but I'm going with Jose Perez, master of the reality check. Well, I I've, seen too, I, I've seen too much of this guy. I, I, I know what he can do. He's got his ass kicked right now, but he has Jose Perez to talk about. But I think this, this contest could definitely go either way. The crowd going crazy, PCW, Primal Conflict Wrestling. Here we are in the crowd. We're going to be right back, fans. We're going to go to a commercial break fast, but we'll be right back with more action here. Cronus and Jose Perez. Look at that. Now we're back, wrestling fans, right in the, the, the midst of the action here. Jose Perez and the eliminator, John Cronus. Jose Perez with big right hands to Cronus' face. And now Cronus fighting back. Oh, no. 
Oh my goodness! Yeah, but don't count this. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Perez falling! Holy shit! Holy shit! Onto a bunch of chairs! There was no give there, that's for sure. Right in the middle of the action. I'm looking around at the screen crowd. It seems like these people are the vice. Not more like Kodos, not more like Perez. And again, I don't like either one of them. But you can't deny either being their ability. Perez now, right hand. Another right hand. Oh my goodness! Oh, absolutely. Both guys bleeding profusely from the foreheads for the High Court Championship here in Primal Conflict. There's not getting a life while I'm making sure Perez ain't gonna throw in the towel. The fans definitely on their feet. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, absolutely. This match definitely proving to be everything we thought it was going to be. Cronus now, right in, the, right in the ring. Oh my God! Back kick, he nailed Perez. Perez, as they say, is right for the pick. The fans are coming alive here at Club Stars. Coming alive because it's a bit alive. Unbelievable action. Perez, he's trying to wear Perez down. Cronus, yeah, putting all his weight on top of him, trying to cut the oxygen supply. No, he doesn't. He didn't have the arm under the chin. Look at that. Perez turned around to a submission hold. Not bad. Oh, look, look, look at him. He's using the ropes. The leverage. Oh, there's a pin. What a great wrestling match. Oh no! Perez now back with a drop kick to the face and another one. And Cronus is uh I believe that game Jose Perez came back like that. All the punishment he took. Oh no. Oh my goodness! Big right hand forearm smash. I guess Bruno's been watching a few martial arts videos. You always call those amateur kicks. So you call those, do you call those kicks amateur? Big slam. Oh no. Look out. Oh my god. Nice. And by the way, yes, I was calling those amateur kicks. That was an amateur. Two and a half count. Both these guys are for real. Unbelievable. Look at that move there by Jose Perez as he drops Cronus with that below the belt kick there. Both guys bleed profusely. Jose Perez will do anything it takes to win. Give the man credit. Then again, so will Cronus. Jose Perez grabbing two folded chairs. This hardcore match has been absolutely out of control. You better hurry up. Big kick there by Jose Perez. And the crowd's trying to give Jose a legal advice. I think they were trying to give Cronus a little advice, actually. You never know. And they're not too fond of Jose Perez, much like myself. Get on here. Oh my god! Well, that might just about end in Jose Perez's career. Thank you, John Cronus. What a sweet guy he is. That was Christmas a little early for Studley Steve Stein. Thanks to John Cronus, who is bleeding profusely and has probably lost about a half a gallon of blood here at Club Stars. It doesn't matter who wins this match, because no matter who wins, they're not going to be able to, no matter who loses, they're not going to be able to win the next match. And now John Cronus throws a photo. No? Oh, no! Jose nails him with that folding chair. Now, what's Jose doing? That was smart thing, because if you raise the chair to nail him in the head, it would have never happened. What the hell? What the hell is this? Fire. Fire the club stars. Come on, set light while you're on fire. And I don't even know what to say there. I, I don't even know what to say. 
What is there to say? What can you say after that? Jose Perez looks like he's going to be in a successful title defense. Oh, no! All right! Yes! Yes! Cronus, the new hardcore champion! Cronus has won the hardcore championship here at Club Stars! But it wasn't easy. It definitely was not easy. thought it was going to end like this. Oh, no. It's Conjunction Junction. Talking about you, dude. Not who, who, huh? Because what? Of a pure we apologize for the language of Jose Perez. It's just not right. I, I really don't think you had a choice, Jose Perez. just can't lose and shut the hell up. Say, huh? What's your name? What's it? Go ahead, go ahead, say it. How do you feel? Go ahead, how do I feel? I got the f hardcore championship belt. How do you think I feel? Bloody, messy. Feel like a girl that's been on the s beep sabina. That's how I feel. Great and luscious. You go, boy. You go, boy. I congratulate you. Hey, hey. That's it. The hardcore championship belt. Salute to all the Americans. What happened in the ring, it's now it's in the record books. But let this be known now. Go I ahead, shake baby. your hand, but Go next ahead. time, you and me, That's one cool. more time for that. You I guarantee it. you, you got a handshake. I'm taking it back. That's it. He's taking it back in his dreams. You heard it here. Prime Mania, Primal Conflict Wrestling, and I'm about to have an interview with two of my very special people, Cronus and New Jack. First of all, I ain't your special people because uh, I just met your ass tonight. Second of all, Cronus called me. He said, Jack, come to Revere. Yep, right. I said, Cronus, last time I was in Revere, uh, I ran out the back door because uh, somebody had got damaged in the ring, you understand? Ooh. He said, well, Jack, the trial is over with now. He said, they found you not guilty now. He said, so come on back. He said, I got your back. You understand? Me and Cronus carried the ECW Tag Team Championship belt for a long time. You know what I'm saying? And trust me, it was money that made us give them up. Not nobody beating our ass, you understand? So now we had arrived on the scene here. You know what I'm saying? And Cronus was the only one that could get me on the scene here. You understand? And we coming here for one thing tonight. Somebody getting damaged. Somebody getting their ass whipped. If you a little big head ass black midget, I'll beat your ass to death. If you fat, white, and ugly, I'll beat your ass to death. I don't care who it is. I don't care who you work for. I don't care what your mama name is. I don't care if your kids are retarded. Tonight, I'm down here for one reason. I got my money, so now two reasons. Now we're going to inflict pain on somebody. We're going to inflict violence. Cronus, couldn't nobody do what me and you did. Couldn't nobody overtake what me and you did. Couldn't nobody do nothing that we, we, we couldn't 
be duplicated. Back that ass up. You want to knuckle up? Yeah, Put him up. And the next time me and Colonel decide that we're going to tag and get together, somebody going to go home looking like a used tampon, bloody and stinking. Because we're going to tear your ass up. It's been your pleasure. Do your job. <laughs> All right, folks. Y'all really ain't got to listen to him. You know what I'm saying? He's a little bit out of his, you know, eh. But he's cool with me. <laughs> Don't play. I got pictures. Yeah. Signatures in the whole nine. But, yo, I'll get at you, dog. Peace. <laughs> That's right, January 21st, 2001, start the new year off right, come on down to Primal Conflict, the most bloody, hardcore, violent wrestling your mama ever seen. Primal Conflict Wrestling, January 21st, 2001, Club Stars, 1291, Hoffman Avenue, Johnson, Rhode Island. The hardcore championship on the line, the challenger entering the ring right now, Astro Man himself, Astro Man. And you might be ready to know with this music, Jose. Astro Man. You must be right at home with this music, Jose. Yeah, I actually like that. Yeah. Ain't Figures. no wrong with that. Figures. Green card music here this week on Primal Conflict Wrestling. And the Dominican... This is going to be one straight up disastrous situation. The sickening Dominican here, Astro Man, as he gets ready to go toe to toe with the Eliminator Cronus, the PCW Hardcore Champion. This is a big shot for Astro Man. And let me tell you, Absolute Man has a chance to bring it all home tonight as the hardcore champion. Well, regardless, at Extreme Execution, at Extreme Execution, regardless of who wins this match, it is going to be myself that's going to be taking my gold back. Well, I don't know about that, but Cronus is on his way. He's on his way to the ring, and he is the PCW hardcore champion. Cronus is the hardcore champion, and he's here tonight for a successful defense against Astro Man. Cronus is on his way. He's on his way to the ring, and he's back in Revere. Eliminator John Cronus. He definitely should be a bloodbath right here, without a doubt. We got Brian Kyrie in the ring. Everybody wants to know what's on his mind. Again, Astro Man. Hey. And again, the current Primal Conflict Hardcore Champion, John the Eliminated Corner. Fans, it's going to be an interesting match. It's definitely... We're going to eliminate the corner as a little present for Astro Man as they're ready to go toe-to-toe, tooth and nail, one-on-one. -on -one. And this match should be one hell of a confrontation. Astro Man versus the current PCW Hardcore Champion. Well, this going on here. I'm going to step up and I'm going to find live yeah, right there. Yeah. I'm going to take care of some... You know, you know why you don't want to say that? I'm going to make sure that I put my name on the dotted line for whoever wins this goddamn match. Give it up, Jose. You already right. lost this belt. This is not that belt anymore. Regardless. There's the Hardcore Champion, John Cronus. Well, regardless, again, it doesn't make a difference. I'm going to take care of what i got to do. Right here by Cronus. Exchanges rights. Center of the square circle. I got out by Astro. 
for a man. And that's the way you win. That's the way you take advantage of a situation. Big Dominican clothesline. That's a clothesline. This is going to be a bloodbath. Astro Man and John Cronus. And let me tell you, Jose, we got in a little bit of trouble for some of the violence we've been showing here on Primal Conflict Wrestling. A lot of moms out there looking at this. A lot of upset people out there. Offending people is what we seem to be great at. So I don't know how much of this match we're going to be able to show you. But we'll show you as much as we possibly can until this thing just gets out of control. We've also there now. Astro Man off the road. Big clothesline by John Cronus. Cronus seems to be in control once again as he gets in the face with the third man in the ring, Rob Morgan. Yeah. 
Oh, all right. He's all a right. real good man. Do you want to drag? Yeah, I did. You sure? Yeah. That's all right. Yeah, but answer me. He's a real good man. Let me tell you, I'll wrestle him anytime, and I'll be his tag team partner. Anytime, anywhere, any place in the world. Puerto Rico, Japan, Australia, Boston, Mass, wherever. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now you can voice your opinion to Astro Man himself. Here he comes. Astro Man. Oh, of course, and his manager. That's all right. You can bring them in. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. All right. God bless you one more time. God bless you, brother. You're yes. right. Fucking cool. I'm tired yes. of you. Very I got that fight on one. I've been a fucking Dominican Republic. Carlos Colon, Jack Banana, Invader, Jose Gonzalez. They all laugh, motherfucker. All right? <laughs> Bro, these fucking motherfucker right here, he's fucking cool, right? Yeah, it's fucking bro. If you know that, it's bro. Blood Brothers now. Yeah. Yeah. fuck you up. Blood Brothers forever. Right you know what? Tell him. I want to tell him right in the fucking tell camera, please, motherfuckers. Tell him. I want you to be my fucking partner, right? That's it. First of all, I got a contract. In Japan, I want to take you with me, motherfucker, all right? See what bro with that? What's it, baby? Stop trying to get it. That's it. Ah! What are you going to say you about that? You seen the interview here, folks. Y'all niggas need to watch your back because the black is back and it's coming stacked. Bye-bye. I think I feel bloody, messy. feel like a girl that's been on the speed sabia. Yeah. That's how I feel. Great and luscious. You what go, boy. Thing? You go, boy. I congratulate you. Doggy dog. Hey, hey. For the hardcore championship belt. Salute. Oh. All the Americans. What happened in the ring? It's now it's in the record books. But let this be known now. Go I ahead, shake baby. your hand. But Go next ahead. time, you and me, That's one cool. more time for that. You I guarantee it. you. You got a handshake. I'm taking it back. That's it. He's taking it back. In his dreams. You heard it here, folks. This is not the last.
position. He would be in the fetal position if it wasn't going back in. And you, you've got the commission there, Dave Padula. That's right, third man in the ring, live effing festa, Dave Padula. Now, is it, am I correct, Studley Steve, or did Diamond Dave and Livewire earlier in the year 2000 have a very bloody barbed wire match with Club Stars? Did I say third man in the ring? He's actually the fourth man. The fourth man, that's correct. So you didn't correct me, so again, you're not doing your job. Again. Right. Like, what am I paying you for? <laughs> I didn't know what I was getting paid. Anyway. Suddenly, Steve, to the back to the match, Corona style with a kick to the back of the chest. And this match is, uh, what's this? John Cordes now, is he going for a suplex? No way. Oh, a crotch dropper. Wow. What is it? Crotch dropper. A crotch dropper? Crotch dropper. That's the first time I've ever heard that called it's that. It's a German word for crotch roper. Nice. Anyway, right to the face by the hardcore champion. Astro Man taking it to the eyes. I think you're, you know what? Astro Man, wait a minute. What was that? Hold on a second. Wait a minute. I don't like this music. That is the Hardcore Icons music, and it looks like he's gonna interject himself in this three-way weapons match. You know, you that know, is definitely New Jack's music. Yeah, but this is somebody else. Right? No, this, this, this is not somebody else. This is not, this is not him. The Hardcore Icon has the contract in Primal Conflict uh, to wrestle anywhere he wants, yeah. in any match he wants. And this is the match I guess he's gonna choose. Uh, New Jack is here. New Jack is here, folks. New Jack taken to the ring. He's got, is that a, is that a cleaver? No, I think that is his infamous New Jack. Ah! The knife that bled mass transit. I, I don't even want to comment, folks. New Jack taking off his, uh, I believe that's Crip Colors blue. And now he's got a staple now gun. he's got a staple gun. Oh! And you will only see this individual, New Jack, here in Primal Conflict Wrestling. New Jack taking it to the streets, taking it to Diamond Dave. Diamond Another Dave. shot with the staple gun. And the staples in the forehead of Diamond Dave, the cowboy from hell. Now, is this a four-way dance? Right, I think you can count, Plant Dog. That's right, four guys, a four-way weapons match. Originally, he was supposed to be a three-way dance. Astro Man is bleeding. Astro Man is bleeding. What else is doing? Astro Man is bleeding. What does he have now? Astro Man, I think he has a golf club. Diamond Dave to do a try to Yeah. 
Jewel. We'll be right back, fans, with more Prime. We're here at Crimson Mask Wrestling. I'm here with Eliminator John Coronas. John, what brings you back to the Boston area? We haven't seen you in a little while, and we were just wondering. Um, well, there was uh, there was a couple of incidents. Uh, the reason why I haven't been around is because my father just passed away uh, two days ago. So that has a lot of, like, what do you want to call it? Like a lot of, uh, um, st you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like it affects your brain when somebody dies. Yeah. So, you know, my father died, a part of me died. So I just said, the hell with that. I ain't going to get out there and do nothing. And, 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 and I wanted to, but my mind was not there. But a friend of mine came in to my life and just said, you got to get back on track. You got to get out there. You got to get going again. You got to, you know, you got to just get out there. So what happens was, I mean, a couple of people called. I've been calling around, and, and now I'm starting to get back into it. I gained a little weight, as you can see. Uh, <laughs> But uh, so I'm just I'm just I'm just trying to slowly get myself back into it again, yeah. you know. So. What's your plans for tonight's match? I hear you're in a three-way with Ron Tonti and Nemesis. Yeah, I'm gonna kick their fucking ass. Oh, it's gonna be a friggin' bloodbath, probably. You know what I'm saying? With them guys, uh, you know the reputation, the and you know the reputation of me too. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Know the of so, so it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a great match and. And they're all good friends of mine, but once you get into that ring, they're like enemies. Yeah. That's like your brother being on another football team. Like, say, I'm on the Pats. Love the Pats. And he's in Green Bay. You know, we're both brothers, but he's carrying that ball. I'm going to tackle him just as fucking hot as anybody else. You know what I'm saying? I so, yeah. I mean, that's just the way the business is. You know? So, I mean, we're going to have fun and give the people what they need. And you'll just take that match just a little bit? Oh, I'm going to. Yeah? Wait till you say. I can't wait. Yeah. Any last words you might like to say to the fans out there from uh, New England Independence? Uh, just in the Independence, just be careful. Backyarders, make sure you have a professional around. And, and don't no more DDTs and no more power drivers because that's what fucks people up. If you want some advice... Come to me, call me, tell me, whatever. I'll be glad to help. All right? Peace. Thanks, John. All right.
shit. Some table. One, two, three. That's it. This is Kick-Ass Kyle Storm, New England Pro Wrestling Hall of Famer. You like independent wrestling? You like women's wrestling? Hardcore? Shoot interviews? Check out Chop's videos. You'll love what you see. What's up guys, Teddy Goods here, and for all of you who are junkies of early 90s independent wrestling, especially from the New England area, I need to let you guys know about Chop's videos on YouTube. I am a subscriber and I watch his videos frequently. Tons of NEWA stuff, Tony Rumble stuff, CWA, um, Primal Conflict, just all kinds of hidden gems. A few matches of myself early in my career, so check it out. Uh, Chop's videos on YouTube. Have a good one, guys. This is the Hardcore Nightmare, the original Beast of New England. I'm here to tell you, follow my boy on Chop Videos. Hit the like button. You can find me on at Bull Dread on Instagram or Michelangelo Kahlo, a.k.a. the original Beast of New England on Facebook or at Bull Dread on Twitter. Woo!
Hello, wrestling fans. This is Brickhouse Baker, 2008 New England Hall of Famer. I need you people to do me a favor. I need you to go to Chops Video and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Again, that's Chops Videos. Go check this out because this guy's got some really good stuff from back in the day. Peace out.